are the four new spoilers for the Model Y, the Performance Plus, and the Performance Plus V-Style. We wanted to show all four of them here so you can see the finish up close as well as the differences between the actual dimensions. So the first one here obviously on the bottom is the matte finish. Uh, the one above is the glossy finish. Beautiful carbon fiber. Um, and following up on the top, we've got the glossy on the top and the matte right below it. A lot of people want to know about glossy or matte. And uh, in our videos, we always comment about it. Um, the glossy has a deeper, more three-dimensional look, and the matte is flat. So we always call it the glossy or the wet look. The matte is the dry look. So on all the Model Ys, everybody knows that owns one, that they come chrome deleted in a matte finish. So all the trim on it is matte. It doesn't mean you can't have a glossy spoiler because you do have other things that are shiny like the glossy tail lights, the glossy glass, um, a lot of carbon fiber mirror caps we sell are glossy. So again, there's no wrong or right. It's just personal preference, of course. Uh, I'm a glossy person. I like the shine. I like the finish. But uh, we wanted to show all four of them here. And uh, dimensionally, uh, people are going to ask the difference between the V-Style and the Round Performance Plus. So dimensionally, they're the same thickness at the same points. It's only the cutout or the V-Style shape that's the difference here versus here. So it's a slight difference. Uh, the V-Styles may be a little more sporty looking, uh, a little more aerodynamic looking. A lot of people buy this that have our GT mirror caps that uh, love the, uh, the look of the flange or the uh, airflow um, opening in the center. So that's the only difference. All right, so now uh, we're going to get into the installation, which we shot earlier. And... Uh, Again, when you're installing them, if you don't have a tab hanging out, a red tab, you just peel off the end about one inch and let it hang down. We'll explain all of that right now in the full, simple, super simple installation video that anybody can install. Thanks again for watching this portion of the up close demonstration. Hey, it's Mark, RPM Tesla Aftermarket Accessories. We're gonna talk about Model Y spoilers today, carbon fiber spoilers. We all know the performance version came with this beautiful, slim, uh, non-aggressive, sleek design. Fits great right on the lip. Performance Plus looks great. It has a V shape to it. We're gonna have two versions of the Plus. One's gonna have the V and one's gonna be rounded. So this will be your most affordable most likely under $225 for this. And again, this is the Performance Plus. And we're gonna have a V version and a non-V version. The new Ultra Wide or the uh, Performance Plus engulfs the stock one. Completely smothers it. Of course, this is our very popular performance spoiler, identical to the Tesla Performance One in every way, made out of super, super, 100% real dry molded carbon fiber. We've sold thousands and thousands of these in the glossy and the matte finish. Now we have our first of two new spoilers. This is a Performance Plus. So take a look at this one. It's identical in terms of the size or the width 
Um, the only difference is the cutouts and, and the actual thickness. So again, this is about an inch and a half wide. This one runs up to about three inches, two and a half. And also it's a little more aggressive. And uh, again, from a high angle, you can see the size difference. Performance, performance plus. Now let's take a look at the performance plus in detail. Uh, we're gonna call this, of course, our V style. So it's shaped like a letter V with the airflow cut out in the middle. And uh, again, it's all held on with double-sided tape. Super easy to install. Hollow back makes it even easier. Okay, rubbing alcohol. Just get some rubbing alcohol and clean the mounting area. So what that means is it means, it means clean two inches above and one inch and a half below. This is gonna be the contact point. It's not the actual ridge of the trunk line. It's gonna be way above and way below. And if you have ceramic coating on your car, you're gonna to need to remove that or this will not hold. Okay, once you got it on, again, we're just gonna center it like this and an inch past here, an inch past here. And then we're gonna get a tape measure now and show you how far that is. Okay, so it's exactly five inches from edge to edge on this side and exactly five inches here, edge to edge. So once you position it where you want it, then we're gonna show you our special installation method. And uh, you're gonna remove the tape on the car. So notice on the tape here, we have two pigtails, one for the top, one for the bottom. We're gonna show you how to release them. So you're gonna lift up on this edge slightly. Okay, so notice my other arm is here. I'm holding it in place. So take the top one and the bottom one and peel it back about six inches or a foot. And just make sure you haven't moved it. And then we're gonna put it right down. So right now I'm putting this down and I'm making sure that it's still exactly five inches right to the edge. Good. So I'm still centered and I've placed the first tape down. Now, make sure you get a little wide shot. See the whole spoiler is coming off the car, except for here where I've installed it. Now, we want to be down and flush. We want to push it nice and secure so it's grabbing on the top and the bottom. But now the tape won't come out. So what do we do? Just simply lift it up about two centimeters by pulling it up super slight. And it's gonna lift from the left side, obviously. And then you're gonna go like this. Just tug on the pigtails all the way to the middle. Now we're gonna push down more, make it bite. So it'll grab like crazy, just with rubbing alcohol, no adhesive promoter. Same thing here and here. Checking it, making sure that the lip is down perfect. No gaps. And now we're getting closer to the end. So as you approach the end, take it in two hands. Again, lift it up slightly and just slide out the tape. Anybody can do this. To remove the tape before you install it is just ridiculous. Inexperienced shops would not know what to do. They would take the tape off first. I mean, look at how simple this is. Pull the tape all the way out, push it downward, and apply pressure. Now, double-sided adhesive tape requires pressure-sensitive adhesive, which requires pressure. So now, Use a little pressure and just push and squeeze and squeeze and push. So I'm pushing it where the tape's located, top and bottom. That's a perfect fit. And we know that because there's no ticking sound. There's no air stuck underneath the tape anywhere. So it's on perfect. And it's glossy on a Model Y with glossy carbon fiber accents, glossy mirror caps, 
The last thing you have to do, and this is for safety measures, and also just to make sure that it's gonna bond correctly and fit flawless and perfect and with no gaps, nothing under the edges, is to use a little bit of tape to keep it secure for the next 72 hours. Okay, so now I have prepared three pieces of Gorilla Tape. You can use painter's tape, but this stuff is great. It really grabs and it's easy to remove the residue. So let's start off on the passenger side. And what we're doing is putting pressure down. So take the tape in both hands, put it equally down and I'm stretching and pulling outward. So this is like pushing on it for 72 hours. You're just putting direct pressure on both pieces of tape. And now we'll do the other side. Same thing. Take the tape, stretch it, put it down and around and down. Downward pressure. Ignore that red vinyl. We're taking all that out. And the last piece. Now the last one, um, I like to just hook it on the top over the edge and pull forward. So I'm putting downward force on it and watch how much we stretch it. Gorilla tape is the best. You stretch it and it's going to continue to pull down and push forward. So that's it. It looks great. It fits great. If you have any edges or areas where you feel it flexing and it's not sticking, this is your chance to push it down. Again, we've got a perfect install. This is our third prototype. We've changed the dimensions a few times, but the V-Style Model Y carbon fiber V-Style Performance Plus. We also have another version without this cutout that we'll be releasing soon as well. So in that video, we'll probably show all three of them together, but uh, it looks great, looks awesome. And our Midnight Silver Carbon Fiber really kills. Thanks again for watching. And uh, when you see this video, they will be in stock shipping at a great, affordable, 100% dry molded, real carbon fiber price. Thank you.